Okay, who is this? Uh, Kaylee, who are we talking about here? Robert Pattinson. Oh, yeah, Robert. Uh, do you think he's a good actor? Um, he did an okay job as Cedric. I think... One out of five. How about one out of five? Give us a, give us a grade. That character wasn't really that hard, though, so I'm going to give it, like, a four. Okay. I don't think it was that hard of a character. <laughs> I could have done it. <laughs> okay. Maybe, <laughs> what about what about this one here on, on, on the left? I think he'll always just be Edward Cullen. Edward Cullen. Now, that's he. that was a werewolf, no? Was he a werewolf? No, Dan. No. Sparkled in the sunlight, okay? He was a vampire. Oh, he was a vampire. That's right. That's right. They were the ones that, okay, gotcha. Not the werewolf. Okay. Now, how did he do at that role? That role defined him. I think he will always be Edward. Um, with anything he does, you can always see Edward. So, like, when he was Cedric, I saw Edward. That role, um, I think, was kind of, like, his main role for his acting career. Because he was in uh, the whole series, and he was a major character. A lot of girls saw him as Edward Cullen. I think a lot will always see him as Edward. Um, I don't, if I see him, I'm thinking, oh, it's Edward, that's not Cedric Diggory. And I'm a Harry Potter fan. So, I mean, that kind of tells you, in my opinion, that I think he will always just be Edward Cullen. So I can't. So, there was three movies made of the Twilight, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the third one was, was it two parts? The fourth one. The oh, third one. Okay. The was the second one. part of the third one. The second one was New Moon. I read all the books and I've seen all the movies. I went to all the premieres. <laughs> okay, so so Edward. Okay, what about this one here? Now I don't know if you know this, Kaylee, but he's actually Batman in the new 2021 series. But Joe, before you answer, let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer. Um, let me pull it up here. I got it right here. Okay, so let's take a look. Optimistic. Okay. But I will be a little critical. Uh, I just, I don't know. I can't see him as Batman. I really like the other Batmans. And I really don't want to be disappointed. So Okay, I so we got, uh, let's go back to the first. Well, this one, Kristen Bale. Batman. He was a, an amazing Batman. He okay. did a great job. I think um, he might have been the maybe the best. I don't know. I think... 
It might have been a tie with him as being the best. Him and then Affleck. <laughs> oh, Ben was good. Ben Affleck. I like that one. I think he was really good, too. I think those two were by far the best. Like, I, they're not the only ones, but I think – are they the only ones? No, they're not. No, they're not. But, but yeah, I, uh, I'm going to stay – well, what do you guys think, audience? You know, who was the best Batman? You know, because we got all the way back down to Mr. Um, – of course, uh, well, let's start from here. Oh that up. We got Adam West, of course, was the first Batman back in the day, the 70s. And then we got Michael Keaton. He was a pretty good Batman. Val Kilmer. That was when we had, I think, Jim Carrey in there. <laughs> George <very> Clooney. <laughs> with the, Mr. Freeze, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And, of course, Christian Bale. And last but not least. I liked Bale. Ben Affleck. Huh? Was he in The Dark Knight? Who? Christian Bale? Yeah. With uh, Two-Face? That, with Harvey Dent? That was a really good... Um, that was a good Batman movie. I think so. I think so. The writers are saying, some of the people who have already saw the trailer and also some of the movies, uh, are saying that this is Robert's best performance yet. I mean, he's that good in the movie. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. 